so funny story in the movie theater today i was literally the only adult there that didn't have a kid but you know what i'm okay with that because i really enjoyed the first peter rabbit movie and i was excited to see the second movie it like paddington have been a few of those kids movies over the years that have really been exceptional to me and well I've got to admit, like most sequels, it isn't as good as the first movie, but that doesn't mean this is a bad movie. I still had a really good time watching it. It was very entertaining and I was never bored in the movie. So once again, reprising their roles, we have Dom Hall Gleason, who is best known as being Bill Weasley and the character of Hux from Star Wars. And you know, in the first movie, he actually reminded me a lot of Hux because his character was so, you know, high strung and anal and yeah, he's calmed down a lot in this movie, but he's still a really funny character to me. So we have Rose Byrne back again as B, and we have Daisy Ridley, who was also from Star Wars, Margot Robbie and James Corden voicing the rabbits. And they do a really good job voicing the rabbits and giving them personality and bringing them to life. So I have to admit, the bad. So there wasn't a whole lot about this movie that I think is bad that didn't really work for me. But some of the jokes were really overplayed and went on too long. Some of the jokes were just really immature and... Look, I've got to say it was the same in the first movie as well. You know, there's kids' movies where the jokes make adults laugh as well, and then there's ones that are just juvenile, and these were pretty juvenile. Not saying that there wasn't funny moments, there definitely was. So, basically in this movie, B is getting her book about Peter and the rabbits published, and the publisher is set up to be the villain. So basically he wants to change everything about B's story and one of the things that he wants to do is instead of just setting Peter up in the book to be this mischievous character, he wants to set him up to actually be the bad seed, to be a bad guy. And obviously this really hurts Peter and it causes him to rebel and join this street gang of animals that are into crime. Yeah, it's it's pretty funny but so this street gang of animals they basically are a street thief gang they steal fruit yeah they've got a few cats they've got a rabbit i think there's some other animals in there but i can't remember anyway so basically they show how peter is fighting his guilt at going along with them but at the same time he has something to prove and he's trying to rebel and I think it's like they're saying he's bad so he's like fine I'm gonna be bad then so the thing about this is that in the first movie he literally tries to kill the young Mr McGregor several times and when he thinks that he's actually dead he's happy and he brags, openly brags, about actually killing the old Mr. McGregor. Like, this Peter Rabbit is sort of a sociopath. When you think about it, he's pretty evil. Like, because Mr. McGregor wouldn't let him steal fruit from his gar garden, which, to play devil's advocate, come on, he had every right to do that. That was his garden. So he kills him. Yeah, okay, he did put his dad in a pie, but... Still, like, the young Mr. McGregor didn't do that, so trying to kill him was a little bit extreme. But anyway, so obviously this is a kid's movie, so we're not going to go too far down that rabbit hole. But so, the filming location, I really, really loved the filming location set in the English countryside. It is absolutely beautiful. I've always loved the English countryside and wherever they filmed this, I don't know if it's like, the, um, is it called the Coswolds, that region, but it is absolutely beautiful. Mr. McGregor's Manor is like my dream home. And anyway, so there's some really funny moments with the farmer's markets. They have like these jokes where they're making fun of the cliche things that people do at farmer's markets, like, um, you know, the folk music that they play and things like that. And those are some of the jokes that I think the adults could find funny as well. And then later on in the movie, they do a fruit heist. 
yes, you heard that right, a fruit heist at the farmer's markets. And it was pretty adorable, I have to say. So in terms of lessons in morality, I feel like there was some really good lessons in this movie about the importance of family and trying to be a good person that was really well done for children. And it wasn't too heavy handed either where it's like hitting you over over the head with the message of the movie. So it was pretty self-aware and meta in moments, which I enjoyed. Like there's this moment during the publishers meeting where they're talking about these typical things that happens in children's books and movies and they're doing it in the movie at the same time. But yeah, I had a good time in this movie. I would say I would give it a B minus. So let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this movie, if you've seen it, and if you enjoyed the first movie. Thanks, guys.